All right, what's up guys? My name is Ryan and this is going to be an informal little video about how to fix DirectX issues with Loadout. I was having some trouble streaming Loadout using OBS and XSplit both, so I thought it might be a problem with the game itself and it turns out it was, but the, ish but the fix I was looking for was something really out of the way and really odd. So I'm hoping this video might be able to help anyone who's having the same issue as me because it took me a really long time to find what the problem was and how to fix it. So hopefully if you're having trouble streaming this game, if you're having issues with getting this game to even be recognized by XSplit or OBS, hopefully this video will help you. Also, if you are having direct X issues with loadout, hopefully this video will help you as well because uh, I know I struggled with it. I would have appreciated a video walkthrough or something a little bit easier to find to know how to fix it. So hopefully this will help. So as you can see, I'm sitting on my desktop right now. I've only got the one screen at the moment. My wife is using my other screen. So that's why we've got this cool parallax thing going on here with XSplit. Nice, that's pretty cool. But anyway, I'll jump into the fix now. So to fix it, we're gonna force loadout to run in direct in direct x 9 as opposed to direct x 11 the game runs in direct x 11 by default but there seems to be a few issues with uh, the way direct x 11 is handled by other programs so if you're having issues with direct x 11 this will this might fix it if you're having trouble streaming this might fix it as well i found this fix worked for me so anyway we'll go into steam and then when you're in steam go to your library Find loadout, as you can see, my rather underwhelming Steam library here. Find loadout, right click on loadout, go to properties, and then in properties, I'm gonna click the set launch options button. Now you can see I've already got it written in here, but I'm gonna scrap that and I'm gonna retype it out just in case the quality is a bit bad and people can't read that. So in the launch options, I'm going to type minus or dash DX one one colon zero and what that will do is it will force the game to not run in DirectX 11 basically what that says is as a launch option disable DirectX 11 so when um, DirectX 11 is disabled it will launch as DirectX 9 so if you're having issues with DirectX 11 that should hopefully fix it if you're having trouble streaming like I am that should hopefully fix it now I'm gonna launch loadout Excuse me, I just woke up, so I'm a little bit not prepared for streaming. All right, so there we go. We've got the game. Hopefully in XSplit, it should be running smoothly. Normally, the, the issue I was having was that if I, I could load Loadout, and if I opened XSplit, XSplit just refused to recognize Loadout as a streaming source. It was just not coming up with anything. It was just a black screen. OBS if I loaded loadout, it would work fine until I clicked off the window. If I clicked off of the window and then clicked back onto it, the game would lock up. But the game the game itself would not lock up. The game inside the stream, inside OBS, would lock up and it would just freeze frame wherever it was. But my webcam and the stream would continue broadcasting as normal. So, as far as I know, that should be running fairly well in XSplit. I'm going to jump back into XSplit here and throw it back into my regular gaming scene. There we go. And that is the game running at its capability, at its capacity that it should be running at. So now I'm able to click between tabs, I'm able to click off of it, you can click back into it, nothing too serious is happening. Yep, as you can see, this fixed it for me. Now that I've got this finally fixed, I can go out and stream the game, which is something I've been looking forward to doing for a while. So that'll be good. But anyway, this has been an informal little video by Ryan helping to fix DirectX issues or streaming issues if you've been having them with Loadout. I hope you've appreciated this video. I know I would have when I was trying to fix it because it's an odd issue, but it could help, so it's worth a try. So if you've liked this video, if this video has been helpful to you, please drop a like and a comment. I'd like to know how many people were having these issues. Um, hopefully, if we can pull enough attention to it, the devs might be able to fix something about it because... I do prefer running games in DirectX 11 if I can, but I mean, if this game just won't stream if it's in DirectX 11, that's a little bit of an issue. So, thank you for watching.